last year and on the World Championship in Korea. I also won a bronze medal and uh, trained very hard. I was uh, very well prepared and uh, uh, something went wrong uh, before the season and the start was very bad and then I started to come up uh, before the Olympic Games in Italy on just uh, Hello, uh, congratulations for your medal. Uh, I have a question regarding rumors about you changing nationality and competing for Slovenia in the future. Uh, I do not want to talk about this. Yakov, last year obviously it was a huge surprise to win the medal and, and you said that when you went back to uh, Croatia after the World Championships you were meeting some very important people. Do you think you'll meet some even more important people this time? Uh, yes, I hope so, <laughs> because uh, in Croatia this sport is uh, not very recognized and uh, I hope uh, that the uh, medal from the World Championship and now the Olympic medal will change these things. Emil, can you talk about the conditions out there please, and also, have you spoken to Uli and about his disappointment and a little bit about your relationship with him please? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, for me, it started uh, started snowing on, on my last lap, and um, uh, I was very extremely lucky. I just I just uh, wanted to <laughs> come into the goal and get finished with it because uh, I thought for the rest of the guys coming behind, uh, it was going to be hopeless. So uh, uh, I knew that uh, I, I had a chance when I come into the finish. Uh, I was only start number ten, but I knew that then that uh, this could be a medal because of the because of the, the snow. So uh, I thought, yeah, this is going to reach far. But uh, I uh, I only talked to, to the other to my other teammates for, uh, for five minutes, and I was and they were very disappointed, of course, and had bad luck with the weather. Uh, Ulla was uh, one minute behind after the second shooting and one forty behind in goal. So. Of course, he was uh, very disappointed, and he felt he was in very good shape. So, uh, so the conditions have played a big role here, and uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that's I guess uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, that's outdoor sports, and, and uh, you can never predict what uh, what will happen. Today was uh, tonight. It was it was raining all the time, and, and when we came here, it was sunny, and all of a sudden it starts snowing. Who could predict that? It's uh, it's incredible. I'd like to now also welcome the uh, gold medalist from today's event, Vincent J, who's just joined us in France. Vincent became the first Frenchman to win a medal in the men's 10K sprint in biathlon. He's the second French male to win a gold medal in biathlon after Vincent Defend won gold in the men's 12.5K pursuit in 2006. Vincent. Last year you won the 20K here. Everyone on the French team said this was a pretty special place. Is it a really special place for you now? C'est vrai que j'aime beaucoup cette piste. Après, j'ai eu beaucoup de chance aussi aujourd'hui au niveau des conditions climatiques. La neige s'est mise à tomber pour la fin de ma course et le début de la course des favoris derrière. Donc on peut le voir au niveau des résultats. Toutes les personnes qui sont devant, elles partaient dans le premier groupe. Donc Après, par contre, j'ai fait 10 sur 10 au niveau du tir, donc ça, je ne le, le dois pas aux conditions climatiques ou quoi que ce soit, c'est moi qui l'ai fait. Et euh, on avait aussi de très bons, très bons skis aujourd'hui, et euh, je remercie tout le staff technique euh, derrière. Well, it's true, yes, I love uh, this, uh, this place here. Actually, I was very, very lucky as far as the climatic conditions were concerned as well because uh, the snow started towards the end of the race. In the beginning, there was nothing. Uh, but uh, the shooting, I mean, that was my doing altogether. I had nothing to do with the climate. But we had very good skiing today, and I would like to thank all the technical staff. Uh, Emil, uh, could you tell us a little about uh, your race? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't think my, my physical shape is uh, on the top of my... Uh, on the top, but um, I've had some difficulties before the Olympic Games because of uh, one week of, uh, of illness and uh, I got a cold when I came home from, from RuPaul Link uh, in January and uh, 
so for me it's been uh, uh, quite a little bit of, uh, of, of trouble coming into this Olympic Games and, uh, and to be here with, uh, with the silver now, it's, uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm very happy with my, my, uh, my standing shooting, it was, uh, it was very fast and very good and after one mistake on the, on the, on the prone it's, uh, yeah, it's great. Euh, Vincent, ta droite. J'espère que la question ne t'a pas été posée parce que je suis arrivé un peu en retard. Là, ta droite. Euh, en, en quoi le résultat de Paris hier t'a aidé ou pas euh, voilà. enfin, Je ne sais pas si elle nous a aidé. Enfin, déjà, elle nous a beaucoup décomplexé parce que le biathlon était une discipline qui était attendue euh, après les résultats qu'il y a eu à Turin. Et, euh, elle nous a surtout montré que bah, tout était possible. Parce que Marie, euh, si on l'avait mis sur le podium hier, je pense qu'il n'y en a pas beaucoup qui, qui la voyaient justement sur le podium. Euh, et elle a montré ouais, que justement, il fallait avoir euh, pas, de, pas de complexe sur une course olympique. Et euh, ça s'est encore euh, prouvé aujourd'hui avec, euh, avec moi, puisque les favoris, euh, je pense à Simon qui est leader de la Coupe du Monde, euh, passaient complètement au travers de sa course. Well, indeed, actually, uh, Maria, our colleague yesterday, who won, uh, who got the silver medal, was took us all our complexes because biathlon was a, a discipline that was really uh, waited on after Turin. She really surprised us because uh, nobody expected to, to see her on the podium. She showed us that we really had to do away with our complexes. The Olympic race, there was no reason to have any complexes there, and the proof is my performance today. And uh, Simon, who was a great favorite, actually didn't succeed very well today at all. Emilia, uh, you talked about your uh, over here. you talked about your teammates being uh, disappointed in their performances. Uh, is, is Norway at the point where if you come away with just one medal and a silver medal in a race like this, it's a, it's a disappointment for for you, for the country, for your team? No, I think I, I don't think so. Uh, our goal is uh, is to have a medal in each of the of the individual um, individual races and. And to pick up the gold in uh, in the in the in the relay, so uh, this is only the first uh, first race, and there's many races to come in the Olympics. So, so uh, I think yeah, definitely the chances are still there for the rest of the team, and and, uh, and we will be attacking all the way. So uh, I think yeah, this is a great start for us. Uh, Vincent, congratulations! Uh, could you just tell us what this victory means to you? And given the weather conditions today, how early on did you think? This might be the goal for me. Euh, bah, écoutez, il s'est mis à neiger seulement dans le dernier tour, dans mon dernier tour, et euh, c'est vrai que c'était des gros flocons, donc euh, généralement on se rend compte de, que la glisse est moins bonne quand il neige. Et là, pour. Euh, Moi, comme, étant donné que j'avais déjà fait deux tours avec des conditions euh, plus que clémentes euh, et que les leaders partaient, euh, partaient alors que j'allais arriver, euh, je me suis vraiment rendu compte que ça allait justement les, les pénaliser à ce moment-là après le, après le tir de bout. Well, as far as the, uh, the weather was concerned, indeed, it only started snowing on my last lap. Uh, uh, and usually what happens is, and really, really big flakes, and what happens is that when it starts snowing, it, we slide much less well. And I had already done two laps in very good conditions indeed, and uh, I must say that the, the, the leaders left uh, when I arrived. Um, so, I mean, really, that, that was an advantage for me. No, after, after the second shooting. Uh, Vincent? Ouais. Simon, Simon Forcan nous disait que tu as vu très stressé ce matin et qu'il ne te reconnaissait pas. Euh, comment toi tu as, as vécu l'avant-course et la course au niveau psychologique C'est vrai qu'au début de la course, enfin, même pendant les essais de tir, j'avais la boule au ventre et je peux même traduire ça par de la peur. Et euh, je enfin, suis l'impression d'aller à l'abattoir, enfin, si on peut dire ça comme ça. Et, euh, Mais c'est vrai qu'après, à l'échauffement, les sensations étaient là et euh, j'ai réussi à évacuer un peu euh, justement ce stress. Et j'espérais justement, bah, avec la, la deuxième place de Marie hier, pouvoir jouer une carte. Et Siegfried, enfin, le coach de tir, m'a plutôt descendu en, 